Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review. Bever is a commercial kitchen supplier. Now they have all other types of categories as well, including power tools, hand tools, hardware, plumbing, machinery, cleaning supplies, office supplies. Guys, they even have raised garden beds. Like they have all kinds of garden stuff. They even have bees. Like we really wanna give bees someday on the homestead. So this company is where it's at. This is the type of dicer that I used in the kitchen industry when I worked at Applebee's and Ruby Tuesday. I love this so much and I've been telling husband I've been wanting one of these for years. Super excited to be reviewing this dicer. It's gonna take me back into the days where I was a line cook. Hopefully I don't have to do two cases of tomatoes though. It comes with three different size dice. So you have your half inch dice here, you have your three eighths dice here, and then we have our quarter dice, which is in our dicer right now. This also comes with a wedger, so you can wedge tomatoes, you could wedge limes or lemons. So whenever you're gonna be making lots of salads or if you just want to get everything wedged and prepped out of the way, this is the tool for you. So I'm gonna be trying their quarter blade here and we are going to do a couple of different dices on a couple of different products and we'll see how it turns out. So let's get in here and I'll show you what it can do. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. Also product reviews. If this is the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I would love to have you come join my family. All right guys, let's get in here and let's see what she can do. Okay, I'm gonna put a sheet pan down and this will help catch any of the food that I am prepping. Start out, I have some bell peppers here. Now with these, you do have to be a little, oh yeah, put a little force to it. Very sharp. Look how fast and easy. Now these peppers I just halved and then quartered. And now I have a whole container of diced peppers. Cute little squares. Now, it does take the shape you cut, so if you cut it different, then it'll come out different sizes. But look at that. You can definitely tell they're both, they're all square though. It's beautiful cuts. There's no reason for you not to have prepped veggies in your fridge with a machine like this on your team. Now I do have some tri roast here, coffee rubbed, that I have not tried ever going through a dicer before. So let's see if it can dice up meat. Now it doesn't say it can do it, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna try, right? So let's get this meat in here and let's see what she can do. <laughs> what? Got a little bit of the meat in there because you know you're not supposed to dice meat. Well, not that you're not supposed to. Look at that. Perfectly cubed meat. I like it. So what I'm going to do is I have a potato here, so I think I'm gonna make like a little hash with the onions and peppers and meat here. And I got my potatoes sliced. Let's give this a try. I'm do three thick here. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm officially in love. These are beautiful potatoes. It looks like I spent hours doing this. I love that chopper. This is definitely one of the things that I loved the most and missed the most from working in the kitchen industry. So I am super excited about this. Let's get some of this over to the stove and let's cook it up and let's see if it's just as tasty cooked. 
Then I got my skillet here. I'm going to get it on high. I'm going to put in some good old bacon grease. I'm going to cook my potatoes in one pan. And I'll do my peppers and onions in this pan. Put a little kosher salt on this, same with the potatoes. Some garlic powder. bacon grease in there just to help with the stickage. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of salt for that meat. So I'm going to add the tri-tip rose and the peppers and onions to that. Just look how professional that looks, having everything exactly the same size. Looks uniform. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit this with a shot of Worcestershire sauce. Just for a little bit of caramelized flavor there on everything. Alright, turn it off. And this is done. Looks pretty good guys. And my favorite thing is how everything is the exact same size. So with everything the same size, it just uniformly cooks around the same. It looks beautiful too. It just looks way more professional. If you have everything kept the same size, that dicer made quick work out of that. Mmm. Guys, that is incredible. This took no time at all, and we have tons of prep left over that we already have diced and ready to go. I really hope you give Vever a try. Check out my link below for an additional discount. Not only do they have dicers like this, they have agriculture equipment, they have welding equipment, they have all kinds of stuff. Husband and I kind of drooled a little bit over their website, and we made a wish list of everything we could want, and oof, that list was quite long. So thank you so much, Vever, for sponsoring this video. Please check them out below, and don't be afraid to get commercial kitchen for your own use, guys, especially if you're gonna be learning to can, preserve, prep your own food, save yourself the time and hassle, invest in some good quality equipment, and get yourself set up for success. Use my link below to get 5% off anything from Vever's website. Thanks again, Vever. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds. Bye.